So how do we create these FAST50? Uh, as we mentioned, each stock pair has to meet uh, stringent historical return and co-integration hurdles and pass that basic fundamental screening we showed you here, okay? So um, it has to be ticking all of our filters on the back testing first, and then we do the fundamental screen, and if it passes that, then it becomes a FAST50 uh, U.S. equities pair. So um, what do we do? What's our sample selection? We take all NYSE Amex NASDAQ stocks that have more than a $2 billion market cap. Most of them are over $3 billion, and they have to have over $2 million a day of average daily traded volume, and they have to be easy to borrow. Then we do the fundamental screen we just talked about before. The backtest parameters in this set, it's a two-year look back, 50, sorry, two-year period of backtest, 50-day look backs for all of standard deviation stretch and ratio look backs. We entered a plus or minus 2.7 entry stretch, exit a plus or minus one exit, str exit stretch. We put in 10 basis points of commission slippage per trade, 40 days max days in trade, and we're trading all of these. All the numbers you see in here are based on 5,000 a leg, and we don't apply an RSI filter on the entries. How do we filter the back tests? We look for any pair that's got 0 0.990 of co-integration or greater. Um, we use the augmented Dickey Fuller test for co-integration, and we use reverse co-integration, so we, we invert the ratio. So a p-value of 0 0.10 reads as 0 0.90 in PTF Pro. We let that be 0 0.88 or better uh, as a tolerance for you know, data, whatever. We, you know, perfection is not always uh, possible in trading. So the average net profit per trade, we always look for greater than $150 based on 5,000 a leg and usually greater than 200. We want a compound annual growth rate in excess of maximum drawdown. We want a target max historical drawdown of less than 20%. This is really important for us. So all these pairs, none of them had a historical drawdown of greater than 20%. If you're trading on uh, 5,000 a leg size, that means a loss of $1,000 on any one trade. So we don't want anything that would come close to that level of loss. Now, minimum win rate, at least 70%, target of greater than 80%. And we want the correlation to be over 50%, but the most important thing is the co-integration. It's got to be co-integrated. And then commissions and slippage, we want that to be less than 20% of gross profit we're trading for ourselves, not for our broker. OK? 